In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run a Twitter feed on your Discord server. This setup that we're going to do is going to allow you to have all the tweets from all the accounts you want to follow posted on your Discord server automatically. And yeah, this one will allow you to ping a role whenever your tweets are posted. Not only ping a role, but your members can also like and retweet them without leaving your Discord server. This, this bot is dope. For this, we're going to be using this bot called TweetShift and keep watching so that you can see all it does. And thank you very much to TweetShift for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate you guys. Let's start with the tutorial. The first thing that we need to do is actually have the bot in the server, of course. So let's go to TweetShift.com. Once we're on the site, we have this button right here. So you just click invite to server. We're going to get this little screen. We click here, select a server, and then we select our server and then we click continue. Then we're going to have all this stuff, which is totally fine. We click other eyes. I guess I'm a human and voila server added. You may now return to discord. All right, I'll do as you say. So as you can see, we have the tweet shift bot in a server. The next thing that we're going to do is create a channel where we're going to have all the tweets. Tweets. All right. So we have, so we have this channel called tweets and that's where all our tweets are going to come to. And just so you know, all the steps are the same on your phone if you're doing it on mobile. So now the one thing that we're missing right now are the tweets. So as you can see, it's empty. Let's go ahead and get some tweets in here. What we need to do now is follow some Twitter accounts so that we can get those tweets rolling. There are two ways of following an account. We can do it through slash commands and we can do it through the dashboard. But I would like to show you through the dashboard first because it's easier to explain the different settings. So let's go back to the dashboard. Here we have dashboard server added, right? Authorized. That's like to log in with your Discord account. And here we have the list of servers that we have with the bot. So tell me about server. I'm going to click on that. And here's where we're going to set up the Twitter feeds. So we can go straight to Twitter feeds right here on the left. And here's where we're going to type in the accounts for us to follow. Let me find an account real quick. So I'm going to do this account that I own so that we can test. I'm going to copy the username and I'm going to go back to tweet shift right here. I'm going to paste the username and we're going to select the channel where we want the tweets to be posted. So I want it on tweets and I'm going to leave these blank because I'm going to come back to them in a second. So I'm going to click start and basically that is it. That's all we need to follow an account. Let's go to the Discord channel. Discord channel is empty. Now let's go to Twitter and I'm going to post something. Now let's go back to Discord and wait for it to happen. Nice. There we have it. It took around 10 seconds, but just notice that I followed the account on the dashboard and then I went and posted a tweet like 15 seconds right after. So it didn't send the tweet right away. Apparently just like didn't recognize it because it takes some time for these settings to take place in their server. So I sent the tweet a second time and when I did, then it took like around 10 seconds for it to arrive. So there we have the tweet. We have the text included in the tweet, the name of the account and the tweet shift um, name on it. So let's go back and and tweak these settings. Let's go to the dashboard. And now we have the accounts right here. We we'll go on Twitter feeds and then we scroll down and we have all the accounts that we're following. So let's go ahead and click this edit flags so that we can change some settings in here. Include retweets. If the account retweets a tweet, then that is sent to the Discord server as well. So I'm going to include it so I can show you later. This one include a link slash embed the tweet. Mm, I feel like I have to show you this one because when I first started using Discord, it took me some time to learn what it was. So I'm going to turn it on and let me show you how it looks. Oh. So this is what it does. Instead of sending actually the text of the tweet, it just makes it in this little square. You see that square that's called embedding. And that is generated automatically by the link of the tweet. Like if I were to copy the link, right? If I just copy and then paste, another one of those is going to be generated. You see, so this is the embedding of the link. When a tweet has like an image or a video, it looks pretty cool. So I recommend you to always turn that on. So that's what the embed of the tweet looks like. So include the tweet text followed by a link is basically include the text and then also include the tweet. So by default, all the tweets that are sent to your Discord server do not ping anyone, but you can choose to ping everyone every time the tweet is sent. So if I turn this one on, you have the ping on the tweet. So this one pinged the entire server at everyone and included the link and also the tweet itself.
But let's say you don't want to ping everyone every time you post a tweet because that's a little annoying, right? You can choose this one, which is that you can just include hashtag tweet shift bot in your tweet and then it's going to ping everyone. With this one, you can just tweet normally and they will be sent to your Discord server without the ping. But if the tweet includes the hashtag tweet shift bot, then it's going to ping absolutely everyone in your server. So I've made two tests. I have sent another tweet, sub4, and this one was just a normal tweet. You see that it didn't ping anyone, but I did include the hashtag tweet shift bot on this one. And for this one, for sub5, it did include the at everyone mention. So that is a very cool feature. So the last one we have is to ping a role whenever a tweet is sent. And for this, we need the premium version of the bot, which as well, I will show you how to use. If we try to be slick, like, oh, let me set it up, oh, whatever, right? But it's definitely gonna say, hey, you need the premium to get it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, get that premium so that I can show you how that works. So basically you will have the two comparisons of the two versions. With the free version of the bot, you can follow up to 40 accounts on your Discord server. But with the premium version, you can have up to 400. Like, dude, the posting speed on the the premium version is way faster because I'm pretty sure it runs on different servers that are not as cluttered as the free ones and all of these amazing perks. Um, anyways, where, 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 where's the button? Oh, I think we have to go back. Okay, sorry. Uh, we need to go back here to actually get it. So let's click on premium on this tab right here. And I am going to choose this one. I'm going to start a free trial so that I can show it to you. And I'm probably going to keep it too because it's pretty good. So you can see that the monthly version is $2.50 every month or the equivalent on your currency. But if you actually use my code, which is new in tray, you can actually get like a pretty cool discount. It's like 125, dude. That's like not even a coffee it costs that. And if you have like an NFT server or whatever, this is totally a bang. So that price, just $1.25 is going to run for six months. And we're going to be running it for free for 14 days. So just going to get it real quick. Definitely not going to show you my credit card info. All right, so we got the premium version. Now let's go ahead and set that baby up. Uh, they sent me a message, what did you say? Hi, I love you. Yeah, so let's go ahead and click on edit flags. And I'm gonna click this finger roll and I'm gonna select a roll. I'm gonna click the, uh, which one? The green, because I'm green. And I'm gonna save it. And as you can see, this one looks way different. We have our sub six tweet came with the link. It did ping the green roll and it's yellow because I do have that roll myself. I have both green and red. And because we have premium, it came up with this amazing two buttons. If we click on the hard one, click, it's asking us to link our account with Twitch Shift. So we're going to click on here, link, and then link my account. It's automatically going to take the account from your browser. So I'm going to click authorize, authorize app, and that's it. So now my account is linked with Twitch Shift and I'm going to dismiss this message. Now I'm going to click on the heart again. Once I clicked on it, it says that it has been flagged as spam for some reason. Maybe I'm doing it too quickly. I'm going to let it settle down for like two or three minutes. And then I'm going to try again. A few minutes later. All right. So I've let some time go by. Now let's go ahead and try that like button again. Clicking on the like. Boom. You have liked this tweet. All right. Let's open the tweet to see if it actually liked it. Ah, it's got the heart. Yes, it did like it. That's dope. Let's try the retweet button. So... We don't have a retweet. I'm gonna X out and I'm gonna click the retweet. Oof, you have a retweeted. Let's click on that. And as you can see, it retweeted this tweet directly from Discord. That is dope. But check this out. Because I retweeted the tweet now, I had also retweets turned on. So because I retweeted that tweet, it resent it to my Discord. So right now, we just tested out the retweets as well. That works. I didn't even intend for that to happen. It was like a perfect loop. Okay, sorry. Let's go back to the dashboard now that we've tested all of this. So if we go to home, here we have these two settings that are part of the premium settings. And here we can turn on and off the, the reactions. The reactions are these two buttons that we just tested out right now so if we want to turn them on or turn them off we can do it here and the other setting that we have here on the right it's white labeling white labeling is including this name on the bot zero warzone dash tweet shift right we can turn that off include the tweet shift branding we can do exclude the tweet shift branding and it will not include the name of the bot when we send it out so we can go to twitter and i'm going to retweet another tweet and just give it a few seconds there for that to be retweeted 
retweet it again so that we can see if it comes up without the branding. So while we're waiting for that retweet to happen, let me show you how to remove a feed. We can go to Twitter feeds here in the dashboard and it is as easy as clicking this little trash can button, boom, you will not be receiving more tweets from that account. That's it. So now let's go back to Discord and let me show you how you can have an unlimited amount of memes, but this time using the slash commands. Go into Discord. And this is the second retweet that we did before. You can see it's your Warzone Twitch shift and this one's your Warzone without the Twitch shift name. So get that premium version because it's worth it. There's this Twitter account that takes all the hot memes directly from Reddit, like automatically. It's not a person, it's just a bot and I love it. This one, it's called the memes bot so let's go ahead and set up this one directly from discord so we're gonna do slash command and we have follow I'm gonna select follow with my keyboard then the twitter account is the memes but and i'm gonna do tab tab and then the channel i want it to be tweets and then links yes i would like the links because they're images they're memes the links make the images show so true retweets um false i mean they don't retweet anybody and don't ping anyone and that is it that's all you need to follow an account directly from your discord server so we hit enter we have registered the meme spot as a twitter feed if we go to the dashboard i'm pretty sure we'll be able to see it right here there's nothing if we refresh here we have it, dank memes. So anytime soon, memes are gonna start dropping. So let's unfollow an account. Let's do forward slash unfollow, unfollow Twitter account, the memes, but Twitter feed removed. Let's go to the dashboard and let's go to refresh and it's gone there we go ladies and gentlemen this bot is amazing and i'm not saying it because they're sponsoring this video like this one actually works it's like a very well done bot which is something that you don't see often on discord so i'm very glad that people with like real skills are actually coming in on discord and making cool stuff i really hope that this video was helpful and if it was please leave a like and subscribe to the channel have an amazing rest of the day my friends and stay safe out there